Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone. So let's talk about data security. Now in today's world, maintaining the integrity and security of the data set has become a focus area for all the organizations in the world. And if you're working with any kind of data, it is your responsibility to ensure that sensitive information is not accessed by people who do not have proper authorization to use that data. So to solve this problem, Power BI gives us a unique feature which is known as row level security or RLS in short. Now I'm going to take you from the basic of RLS where we'll be starting how to apply static RLS onto your data sets and then we'll move on to the dynamic RLS stuff. So if you want to learn how to apply data security and implement RLS in your data sets or in reports, stay tuned. All right, to begin with, let's understand how this will work, okay? So I have a data set here, which is the COVID-19 global data set. Links will be in the description in case you want to follow along. And this data set contains a column called country and then a couple of other metrics that I have. Now, what if you have a team of 10 members and each member is responsible for taking care of data for a certain country and is not authorized to view any other country. So you would obviously need some kind of restriction on your data, which can help you restrict those users from viewing any other country, right? Now the RLS functionality works in two steps. You create the RLS inside Power BI desktop and eventually user get to interact with your RLS in your Power BI services after you publish the dashboard. Now we're going to look at how to apply a basic row level security using static RLS. Okay. So the first thing that you need to do inside your Power BI desktop is come to the modeling tab. And within this, you'll find a button called manage roles. Click there. Now in the new prompt, create a new role. Okay. This is where you're creating a role for managing your role level security. We'll call this static RLS. Okay. We'll use the COVID worldwide data set here. Click here on the three dots icon and click on add filter. And I'm going to choose country. I can enter a value here. Now I'll say country equal to India. You can also use operators here. A double pipe sign means or so I'm going to say or country is equal to Belgium. Okay. And click on this tick icon and save. So now you've created a role for your role level security. Now you can test out the role right here in the Power BI desktop, even before publishing onto the Power BI services. Just click on this view as button and click on the static RLS and press OK. So as you see, it is now filtered values based on the countries that you entered in the manage role section. So I'm going to just click on stop viewing. You can choose to create multiple roles like this by clicking on manage roles again and you know, creating more roles if you require. As of now, I'm going to stick to only one role and then come to home page and click on publish. Now, once you click on publish, it will ask you for the workspace that you want to upload your report onto. Now, just keep this in mind. You need to be logged into Power BI before you could do this step. Otherwise, it will ask you for a login information. Click on my workspace or select any workspace that you have and select. Okay, so now the report has been published onto my workspace on Power BI services. Okay, let's jump onto Power BI services and see what's happening there. So I have opened up my workspace here. If you see when you publish your dashboard or reports onto Power BI services, it is published like this. We have a report layer for your PBI and we have a data set layer. Okay. Within your data set layer, click on this three dots icon and click on security. Now this is where you'll see this static RLS that you created. You can add any user you want. Okay. In this, I'm going to add this and save. Now, once you have added and saved a user, you have added that user onto the RLS. And what you can do is you can even check whether that RLS is working for that user or not. So click on this three dots icon here and click on test test role. And this will show you how the user will see 
your report once the RLS is applied. But adding couple of employees or members into your RLS system is easy, right? It's not a problem. But what if you have more than 100 or 1000 employees in your organization and you have to manage access for each and every one of them? It will be a task to do that using static RLS system because you would have to constantly keep a track of who is leaving, who is not leaving, who has access and not, and then align them accordingly into each RLS category or roles that you created. So a better way to do that is using dynamic RLS. So let's quickly jump into our Power BI desktop and see how we can create a dynamic RLS. So I'm going to click on manage roles again. And for now, I'm going to delete this static RLS. Now in the data set, I have two tables. First one is the COVID worldwide data. And the second one is a user role. Okay. And now this one is simply a two column data set, which has an email ID of all the users that are there and then the country that they have access to. Now, if you come to the relationship tab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the user role with the COVID worldwide data set by using the country column because country is the common factor between both the tables. Now, when I drag it, if you remember in our cardinality and table relationship video, I explained about the filter context and the flowing of filter context, right? Now, if you see right now, the filter context is flowing from the worldwide data to the user role table. Now that is happening because in my worldwide data, it contains unique list of countries and in the user role, which contains duplicate entry for countries because multiple users have access to the same country. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to ensure that the filter context flows from user role to the worldwide data set. Okay. There are two ways to do that. First one, we can create an intermediary table, which will have unique values for country and then connect both the tables with that unique list. Okay. And then ensure that it has a two way relationship so that filter context flows from this to this. Okay. But in this case, what we can do is we can just double click and in the edit relationship prompt, I'm going to select both from the filter direction and ensure that you select apply security filter in both direction. Okay. Otherwise it will not work. I'm going to say select. Okay. Now the relationship part is done. Now remember in case you have many values here, right in your data set, then that is also not a problem. Just ensure that the filter context, the arrow key that is here is flowing from your access management table, which is this user role right now to your data set. Okay. So you need to edit the relationship accordingly or create an intermediary table, uh, like I explained before to create that relationship. Now, once you've done that, I'm going to go back to my manage role section, create a new role. And then in this, I'm going to call it dynamic RLS. This time the RLS will be applied on the access management table. In this case, user role. Okay add filter and I'm going to use email here. There is a DAX function which can extract the email ID of the current user. Okay. And that is called user principal name. So I'm just saying user role email is equal to user principal name and save. I'm going to publish this dashboard onto the Power BI services. Now let's check if it's working in our Power BI services or not. Okay. I'm back again in my workspace and in the data section, I'm going to click on security. Now I can see dynamic RLS here. Now, because this is a dynamic RLS, we do not have to add any email address here. Instead, I can just click on this three dots icon test role. And as you see, it has automatically assigned the defined RLS that was there for me. Now I'm logged in as admin at the rate people stats here. Okay. Now it has filtered out that exact country, which was filtered for my current user. Okay. Now I'm going to show you my power BI desktop again. And let's check if it's working now admin at pivotal stats has access to Germany, China, and India. And that is exactly what I'm seeing here. Cool, right? So that is it. I hope you have learned something new today. Let me know in the comment section, if you have any other suggestions on how to use dynamic RLS or any other important topic that you think that I should cover within RLS. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you're liking my content, then please consider subscribing to the channel that would really help me out. And I'll see you in the next one.